Just after putting six short videos about Buddhist gardens on YouTube, I was delighted to find two contemporary Buddhist gardens at the 2013 Chelsea Flower Show. So here is a clip of the Mindfulness Garden by Martin Cook and an interview with Fernando Gonzalez, designer of the Sound of Silence Garden. Right, so I tell you the, the how to give well, the... Tell me where the idea came right. from and how you made right. it. The idea comes from uh, Zen Japanese gardens, and especially they do a thing called the koan. The koan is a riddle that Zen master's gardens tell to their uh, students to try to get to higher enlightenment. And the most famous one is like the, what's the sound of the one hand clapping? So the students trying to find the reason, and but of course he will never find it. So the same masters always say to him that there's no explanation. It's whatever you feel, whatever you experience, and that's for me. That's this garden, like, you know, very quiet, very tranquil, and it just you've got the clues here for the riddle. You've got the bonsai, you've got the mountains, and it's up to you later. Whatever you feel. Are you interested in Buddhism? I am. I am. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, same Buddhism and same. I always been attracted to same. There is something magic and enigmatic about it. Yeah, and when I went, to, I went to Kyoto, and then I went to the famous Fifteen Stones Garden, and it was. I mean, there were a lot of people. There were even children there, and I thought, oh, that's not going to be good. Everybody went quiet. It was silence. It's so powerful, that garden. Yes, it's, it's unbelievable. Yes, yeah. Unbelievable. And yeah. then I went to the Dai Sin Inn garden, yes, the yeah. monastery, and they've got only two <laughs> mountains of sun and one tree at the back. That's it. And it, it, for me, that's more powerful than mm. a lot of... So it's a Buddhist-inspired garden. It's inspired but, by... Yeah. But how did you make it? Right. And the technology. Yeah, so the idea, we use a program that they use in Hollywood to make special effects. So, but what is the name of the program? Maya. Maya? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it creates all these shapes. Mm. And then once we find the shape that we were thinking, well, because we had the idea of creating mountains. <laughs> so once we've got the mountains created by the computer, then we send it to the factory. And then uh, the shapes are cut by a CNC machine. And uh, then, uh, but to create these curved, curved panels, you've got to thermoforming, that's the, the, te the technical term. And what is the material? It's high max and it's a, a natural acrylic stone. So it's uh, like, I don't know, 90%, 95% of a stone and then, then a bit of acrylic, so it gives it this plasticity. And also, it's, as you've seen, it's waterproof. Very clean, very hygienic. Mm. Yeah. So it started off as a flat sheet. It starts as a flat sheet, and then, then you apply forces on the computer, yeah. and then like uh, you apply gravity, you apply pushing, and you are, and then you start creating the shapes. You are like the director of a boat or of a movie. You know, you have to know where to stop and where is the good frame. Uh, but of course, it's not like oh, I like the shape. No, you already have behind this concept of uh, saying, well, inspired by Saint Gardens, the mountains, that's what it, that's what it is, yeah. So you cut out a flat shape, first yeah. of all, yeah. and then what? And then you put it in an oven, mm -hmm. and then uh, after 10 minutes, it comes out like very, like plasticine, so you can play with it to create the shape. Yeah. And then you've got already made timber molds, and then you put the flat, the panels on top of the timber molds, and then, adapt to the timber molds and it does the shape. And how did you make the timber mold? That's made as well, well like different layers of plywood and then the machine as well, the CNC machine cuts the shape and then you put the panels on top of them. Is that a laser cutter? Yeah, yeah, it's a laser cutter, yeah. So it's all made with 
I don't use a pencil, I don't use a drawing board, I don't, it's all my laptop, that's my office, and it's so easy because... It, but didn't you even do a pencil drawing no, before you started? No, the, no, 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 because you've got the idea, and that's what they call, I mean, they asked Frank Gehry, who, when he did the Guggenheim, uh, in New York? Uh, no, the one in Bilbao. In Bilbao? Yeah, yeah. and then he said, yeah, of course, I could have drawn this, this building, right? But it would have taken me 80 years. And with the computer, it's just one week. And everything, because you get a lot of precision as well, you know? What I said to the fact, I don't need to know to look at the garden because I know what is going to come out. Don't, I, don't you think that hand drawing and computer drawing work together? No anymore. Before, when a lot of architects, when AutoCAD was coming, they were trying to, yeah, it was a mixture of all things. The new generation is just completely, is completely gone. Sketching. They don't do sketching anymore. They start the sketch on the computer. That's you know, a, a lot of authors find yeah. that when they get stuck, yeah. they need a pen rather than the computer. I mean, a word processor does most of the job, yeah, yeah. but for really something really difficult, yeah. they need a pen or a pencil. Yeah. Don't you think the same applies for three-dimensional design? I can only tell you how I work. Yeah, I yeah, don't yeah, know yeah, why yeah. they do the other people. That's the way I work. Now, I know. went to see the Henry Moore Foundation yeah. exhibition last weekend. Yeah. Yeah. And, of course, he could have started yeah. just with clay or whatever, yeah, or with course. stone. Yeah. But he always wanted to draw yeah. first, yeah. because the drawing was yeah. part of the thinking. Yeah, but now, is, that's, the, that's, the, that's, that's the difference now. You start with a shape, like a ball or a flat panel in the computer, and then you apply the forces and you play with it like clay. Mm. But you don't need to do the drawings anymore. You don't do it. It's the computer who does it. And, it's so, and it's the funny thing is that the more you use the computer, the shapes are more organic than before. <laughs> you know? Because before it was, on also, it's like, a, before it was very difficult to create curves. Look, Saha Hadid never built anything for 20 years because the technology wasn't there. And they always thought she was crazy. And, but look at that her now. She's building everywhere because the technology is there and the materials are there. Because what, what I want is a, a USB port yeah. slotted in just a, behind my yeah. ear yeah. so that I can fit in an extra processor yeah. and an ex, some extra storage. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because, I mean, the brain, the human brain and the computer brain, yeah. they really want to work together, don't they? Yeah, of course. They? Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's not, it's not like, uh, uh, like they say, uh, you don't use the computer to create uh, very precise drawings, so it helps you with dimensions. No, it's a design tool. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, it's yeah. a design tool. Like, hey, 100, 200 years ago, we had, I don't know, all the things. But now we're moving on. Well, look, Fernando, thank you and well done. I hope you get the gold medal oh, you God. deserve. We'll see, we'll <laughs> see about that. We'll see. Thank you. Thank you very much. We have to move. The